Did you know that after military dogs retire, they can be adopted into regular civilian families? Pixie, this is your new big brother. He's gonna live with us now. Wowee! A new big brother? My name's Pixie. What's your name? Brutus. Wowee! What a pretty name! We're gonna be bestest friends. You're very small and weak. If anything bigger than a squirrel wanted to hurt you, you wouldn't stand much of a chance. Guess I'll have to protect you. I love you too! This is my bed, but you can use it too, since you don't have one of your own. Uh, thanks. This part of the house is super duper dangerous. If you fall, you could get really hurt. Well, thanks for the warning. That's Randall the raccoon. Uh, he's a raccoon. He's also really grumpy. One time I asked him if he wanted to play, and he said to leave him alone or he'd bite me. So you should probably stay away from him. Good idea, Pixie. He'd probably rip my ugly striped tail off. Yeah. Uh, wait, you don't have any stripes on your tail. Hey, Brutus, you want to see my spooky Halloween costume? That's over a month away. Okay. I'll go put it on. All right, before I show ya, just remember, it's only a costume. It's not real, okay? Okay. Did I scare ya? Did I? Did I? Did I? Yes. You know, I could teach you how to be scary if you want. I'd appreciate that. There, that'll do. All right, Pixie, if you ever run into trouble and I'm not around to help you, you're gonna have to know how to defend yourself. So if this big mean animal is trying to hurt you, what do you do? Hi, I'm Pixie. Please don't hurt me. They'll be mean. Let's be friends. What? No, don't ask him not to hurt you. Go for his neck. Like this? N no, I mean bite his neck with your teeth. Wouldn't that kind of hurt? Yeah, <sighs> yes, it's supposed to hurt. That's the point. But if I hurt him, he might not want to be my friend. <sighs> hey, Brutus, we should do best friend costumes. What do you mean? You know, like you could be a flower and I could be a bumblebee. Oh, um, maybe something else. How about the princess and the pea? Uh, what else you got? How about Batman and Robin? You know what? I like that one. Let's do it. Wowee, Brutus. <laughs> You're so colorful. Hey, check this out. I am the night. Oh, jeepers. Are you okay? I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have done that. Are you hurt? I'm okay. Hey, Brutus. Come watch this fun movie I just turned on. It's called, uh... Nighttime on Elmo Street, I think? Huh? What's it about? Well, I'm pretty sure it's about a bunch of kids playing hide and seek with this Freddy Krueger guy. I think you mean Freddy Krueger. Oh yeah, that's it. Oh look, he found one! Hey Brutus, the human said that you were an MWD. What's that? Oh. It stands for Military Working Dog. Who's military? No, no, not a person. A military is a group of people that uh partake in war on behalf of their home country. What's war? Uh, well, it's when opposing militaries engage each other and... And... And what? And... And they play fun games together. Well, we... I want to go to war. Sounds super fun. Yeah, fun. Target spotted. 10-4. Officer Pixie, you are clear to engage. Gotcha! You are under arrest. Do not resist. Get on the ground, Mr. Criminal. Oh, darn. You've captured me. <laughs> That's right. And now you're going to bad guy jail, you bad guy. Randall, are you okay? I didn't mean to tackle you so hard. My masterpiece is complete! Hey, Brutus! Come look at this lion snow sculpture I made. Oh, that's, um, amazing. Thanks! It almost looks real, doesn't it? 
Yeah, real. And check out this other one. Oh my, another lion. Even more real looking than the last one. <laughs> That's not a lion, silly. It's you. Can't you tell? That's me? Uh, oh, I mean, yeah, of course I can tell that it's me. It's like looking in a mirror. The jaguar's powerful muscles and claws allow it to easily climb any tree. Wowee! Climbing trees would be super fun. I wish I had claws. Uh, Pixie, you're a cat. You do have claws. Nuh-uh. See? All I got is these little fuzzy paws. Just flex your fingers. Uh, okay. Like this? Wowee! What a pretty flower! Oh, hey, Brutus! Check out this pretty flower I found! Wow, very pretty. Look what I just found. Wowee! A birdie feather! Where'd you find it? Oh, uh, it was just laying around. Wowee! Brutus, is that you? Yep, back in my rookie days. You were so small and cute! W well, that's not my fault. I couldn't help it. I was just a pup. <sighs> yeah. I guess I was cute. Whatever. Who's that guy next to you? That's Sergeant Sergio Castillo. He was my handler. He looks like a really nice guy. Yeah. He was a nice guy. Super Pixie flies to the rescue! Super Strength! Super Laser Eyes! Psst, Brutus, Laser Eyes. Uh, oh, right. Kaboom. A puddle! Yippee! Pixie! What are you thinking? You can't swim. Jeepers! Thanks, Brutus. I didn't think it was that deep. Well, you ought to check before just diving in. Yeah, I know. I just get so excited when I see puddles. All I can think of doing is splashing in the... Hey, look! A puddle! Yippee! Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot. Hi, mister. I like your web. It's very pretty. Oh, uh, thanks? Y you know I'm a spider, right? Yep. So, aren't you, you know, scared? Uh, no. Not even, like, creeped out? Why would I be? You seem very nice. Hey, Brutus! Look at this awesome daredevil stunt I've been practicing. Hmm? Ta-da! Uh, wow. Very cool. Wait! I've got one more, and this one is really, really cool. Hiya! That was probably the coolest thing I've ever seen. Really? Hands down. Doing good, Pixie. Just be careful. Wowee! How high am I now? Ah! Too high! Too high! Hello, Brutus! Jeepers, I must have almost been to the top. Uh, yeah. Almost. Oh, hi, Hugo. Hello, Pixie. Pixie, who's the big dog? Who? <gasps> oh, hi, Brutus. That's Hugo. Is he hostile? Yeah, scary dog, scary dog. Uh, never mind. Hey, Chubby, what you got there, bud? Oh, uh, hi, Randall. This my bone. How about you give it to me? Be a pal. But you take my bone yesterday and day before that. Of course I took your bones. I'm doing you a favor. The last thing a fatso dog like you need is more to eat. Uh, but bones not for eating. Bones are for chewing. Whatever. Just fork it over, you dumb blob. Hey, Pixie. Who's that really big dog again? Oh, you mean Hugo? Does he get bullied a lot? Yeah, mostly by Randall. Lola says it's because he's a marshmallow. I think because he's white and brown, like a roasted marshmallow. Uh, I think she means to say that he's soft. But that's not his fault. Some dogs are just fluffy. No, no, not literally soft. She's saying he's a pushover. But he can stand up by himself. No. I've seen him do it. Pixie. Look, he's standing right now even. He doesn't defend himself from mean or unfair treatment. Oh. But luckily for him, I know a certain dog that can help him out. Really? Who? That must be Pixie's new big brother she told us about. Let's go wish him a Merry Christmas. 
Are you sure? He seems a bit unsociable. What, just because he's big and dark? You can't judge a book by its cover. I suppose you're right. We ought to introduce ourselves anyhow. It's the neighborly thing to do. Hi there. My name's Lola, and this is Mr. Wrinkles. You must be our new... neighbor. Yeah, so we just thought we'd introduce ourselves and wish you a Merry Scarface. Christmas. Christmas. I meant Merry Christmas. Have a very, very Merry Christmas. Okay, uh, we're gonna go now. That dog looks like he eats nails for breakfast. What happened to don't judge a book by its cover? Oh, shut up. I just don't trust that big scary dog around tiny little Pixie. I agree. Wait, what's he doing? Oh, did he just give her a flower? That's actually really nice of him. Huh, I guess he's not mean. Yeah, I suppose we don't have to be afraid of him after all. Do you think he saw us? You're an idiot. You too. I'm looking for Hugo. Seen him? Oh, Hugo? No, haven't seen him at all. Why? I've noticed he has a bit of a raccoon problem. I want to help him out. Oh, you're going to stop Randall from bullying him? No, Hugo is. But he can't. He's just not... You know... He's not confrontational. He's a big pushover. Perhaps you could, you know, scare Randall off for him? Mm, give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach him to fish and he's fed for a lifetime. Uh, how's fishing gonna help Hugo? You're an idiot. <sighs> it's a figure of speech. I'm saying that Hugo shouldn't depend on others to stick up for him. He's a big dog. He's got to learn to defend himself. Oh, I get it. But, like, none of us even have thumbs. How are we going to hold the fishing rod? Or reel anything in, for that matter? Please, stop talking. I guess we could hold stuff with our mouths, but that would still be tricky. I swear, I lose brain cells just being near you. Forget everything I said about fish. Do you know where he is or not? Oh, he's up there. He got scared when he saw you coming. Oh, how? Are you sure this is going to work? Should. As long as he doesn't chicken out, he doesn't have to do much. Well, we're about to find out. Here comes Randall. All right, Tubby. You know the drill. Fork it over. Hey, don't turn your back on me. Give me that bone. Get, get off me. Only if Randall promised to stop being meanie. <sighs> hmm. <sighs> okay, I'll stop messing with you. Randall promise? <sighs> yeah, yeah, I promise. I promise, okay? P please, get off. S -s so, Randall, stop bullying me now? Yes, just stay away from me, you crazy dog. Wowee, Brutus! You got some big juice! <laughs> Thanks. I wonder if I'll have juice this big when I grow up. Uh, probably not that big. Uh, a giant turkey? Nope. Bald eagle? Ostrich. Uh, skunk? Panda. Water pig? Hippo. Uh, sharp-nosed hippo? Rhino. Long-nosed hippo? Elephant. Why is that rock moving? That's a tortoise. Oh, a Hanan black-crested gibbon! Oh. I was gonna say monkey. Gibbons are actually apes. Hey, you giant evil robots! If you guys want to destroy the city, you're gonna have to go through us. Ready, Brutotron? Awaiting your orders, Captain Pixie. Beep boop! Look out! Here comes the other one! Hey, Brutus! Look! I'm a dill pixie! Get it? Because my name is Pixie and that kind of sounds like pickle? Yep, I get it. And I'm in a pickle jar? Yeah, that's very clever. And that's where pickles go. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Wait, is that still full of pickle juice? Yep. Oh. Also, I'm stuck. <sighs> huh? What's this? Hey, Brutus, what are they talking about? I think they're just commenting on how the artist that draws our comic hasn't been consistently drawing you the same size. What do you mean? 
Well, each comic that he draws, you keep getting drawn smaller and smaller. Really? I haven't noticed. Come on, artist. You should know she's bigger than that. Uh, this doesn't seem right either. Uh, I should have seen that coming. Brutus, I think I just learned a new magic spell. Want to see? Sure, why not? What does it do? It turns rocks into bunny rabbits. Wait, any rock? Now hold on a second. Maybe I shouldn't be standing so close. Rocko, Rocko, Wallakazam! Huh, it didn't work. I guess I need to practice this one some more. Nah, it worked fine. You just need to practice your aim. Um, who are you? <sighs> oh, hey, Pixie, check this out. Wowee! That's amazing! What is it? It's my jack-o'-lantern. It's where you carve a spooky face into a pumpkin. It's a Halloween tradition. I got a little pumpkin for you, too, so you can make your own. Wow! Thanks! Is that okay? Did I do it right? Um, yeah. That's, uh, not bad. Hi, Mr. Headless Horseman! I noticed your pumpkin hat was starting to get a little bit wrinkly and mushy, so I made you a new one! So, what do you think? Do you like it? Looks like the coast is clear. Finally, I can enjoy some quality garbage in peace. No stupid pesky dog on my tail. Ah! Wait, I come in peace. I'm just here to get some grub. That's all. I'm not looking for trouble. You can get your trash from some other neighborhood. But, but, this neighborhood has the best trash. Don't care. Get lost. Listen, I know I've been a nuisance in the past, but I swear I'll leave you all alone. You'll hardly even know I'm here, I promise. Hmm, fine. Really? Yeah, but you so much as look at anybody the wrong way, you'll regret it. I've got my eye on you. <laughs> nice. I've got my eye on you. Because you only got the one good eye. Yeah, never mind. You're right. That is a pretty feather. Don't know how we're going to get it down, though. Yeah, that's way too high for me to climb. Actually, I know someone who can get it down. Oh, come on. Please, let me go. I didn't do nothing. Oh, hi, Randall. Are you here to get the pretty feather out of the tree branch? The what? Out of the what? Wow, that was so fast. Thanks, Randall. <sighs> no problem. Mm. Oh, well, wait. So tasty. Uh, Pixie, it's okay if you don't like it. You don't have to pretend. No, I really like it. It's super good. You know, it's okay not to like everything. It's not rude or impolite to dislike something. Besides, pretty sure Master just wanted to see your reaction. I don't think he expected you to like it. Mm, it's gross. Yeah. Really gross. Yep. It feels like my mouth is crying. Aw, oh, jeez. I got sauce all over my head. Abracadabra. Thanks! Welcome to my humble abode. Abode? Abode! Yeah! As you can see, I have not one, but two whole windows. Both on the same wall. Very nice. And some fancy house decorations, of course. Yes, of course. Really breathes life into the place. I even have my own double-bedded mattress. Uh, I think your bre- er, your bed might end up getting moldy. You might want to use something less edible. Well, what are you waiting for? Come on in! Uh... Wow, look at all this beautiful snow! A joyous day! I can hardly contain my excitement. Yeesh, what are you so grumpy for? I'm a hairless cat in the middle of winter. Figure it out, Sherlock. Sounds like you need a big warm hug. Don't touch me. No, I mean a really big warm hug. What are you talking about? 
Hugo, come quick! Mr. Wrinkles is freezing to death! He needs an emergency hug! Emergency hug? What? No! Hugo, I'm not freezing to death! I save you! Grr! Oh, better! Do you feel better? I feel like I've been run over by a dump truck! Ah. Stay away, scary monster! Uh, Hugo? What's wrong? Shh, I hiding. Scary flying monster tried to eat me. Look. Hmm. Hugo, that's an owl. Owl? Well, it still tried to eat me. Hugo, you're a 300 pound dog. I really doubt it was trying to eat you. Hugo? <gasps> You seriously hiding from a crow? Uh, no. I, I just sitting in tree shade. The sun ain't even out, Hugo. Oh. Hugo, you're a 300-pound dog. You're practically a small grizzly bear. You've got no business being scared of birds, or much anything for that matter. Really? N not even spiders? <sighs> Not even spiders. Not even pigeons? That's another bird. Why are you so scared of birds? Hmm. I wonder what color Hugo's eyes are. I don't recall ever actually seeing his eyes. Hmm. Me neither. Me neither, too. I guess those meatloaf eyebrows of his always keep him covered. There could be anything under there. Well, no. I'm sure he just has two normal eyes. Or maybe three normal eyes. Or three rainbow eyes. I'm gonna risk it and bet on the first one. <sighs> well, let's settle this, I guess. Stay still, please, Hugo. Uh, okay. Why four? See? Two normal... Oh! Oh, my. Well, I was half right. I was a third right. Me confused. So, Hugo, how did you lose your eye? Oh, well, when I was puppy, I wander over the strange building. I'm curious, so I go inside. Then I run into Big Mama Chicken, and she, she no like that I was in there. Holy moly! So you got your eye pecked out by a chicken? That's terrible! Is, is that why you're so scared of birds? Yes. Well, I doubt it was pecked. Out. It's much more likely that the eyeball was simply punctured, just damaged enough so where it needed to be surgically removed. Seriously, dude? What? I'm just saying, nothing wrong with being accurate. Okay, so try to guess what I'm drawing as fast as you can. Okay. Well, I'm done. You still don't know? Uh, is it an angry squirrel? What? No, it's an eagle. Oh, of course. That was my next guess. Okay, my turn. Trust me, you definitely know this one. Is it a spaceship? Uh, no, no, it's an animal. A horned monkey? No, those aren't horns. They're ears. Oh, it's a horse. Uh, yeah, it's a horse. Good job. This is some real good mud. Woohoo! Mud? Really? I have nothing against canines, but sometimes they can be such slobbish creatures. They simply lack the sophistication that us felines have. Hmm? Yippee! Oh, for Pete's sake, am I the only one with some cleanliness standards around here? Don't knock it till you try it, princess. Well, well, well. Welcome to the party, Wrinkles. Glad you could make it. It's a pleasure. The legendary adventurer, Pixie, scales the mighty mountain with ease. She navigates. Navigates. Navigates the deadly rainforest. But how will she cross the raging river? The raging river has stopped. It's a miracle. Miracle. It's a miracle. Do you remember when we first met? Hmm. Let me tell you, Brutus, you're gonna love your new little sister.
Little sister. Oh, great. I've got to spend time with some annoying civilian house pet. Probably some annoying, yippy little city pooch. You probably haven't spent much time around cats, have you? A cat? Ugh. Even worse. Pixie, say hello to your new big brother. Big brother? Wowee! Um, this is acceptable. Hey, Mr. Wrinkles, can I ask you something? What do you want, Lola? Well, I was just wondering, are there alien dogs on your home planet too? I'm not an alien. Oh, okay. But do they also have alien squirrels to chase after? I said I'm not an alien. I've told you a hundred times already. I am a sphinx cat, as in a cat breed that is naturally bald. I'm literally just a hairless cat, not an alien. Right, a hairless cat. Next thing you're going to tell me, there's a breed of hairless dogs. <laughs> There is a breed of hairless dogs. It's called a Zolo. Sure. Zolo dog? Sphinx cat? Listen, if you're going to make up words, come up with something that sounds a little less, you know, made up. Why do I even try? And I thought aliens were supposed to be smart. I am not an alien! Pixie, have you been playing in the mud recently? What? I couldn't hear you. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Whoa, how'd all this mud get here? Uh, now ain't that a pretty sight? Yeah, remember the time we were up there? Uh, up where? Up on the moon, remember? What? What do you mean? You know, that time we went into space and sat on the moon. What? Oh, I'm... Pretty sure that was just a dream, Pixie. A dream? No, I'm pretty sure it was real. Well, how'd we get up there? You don't remember? We got it right from that giant flying chipmunk. Oh, yeah, I guess that was probably a dream. Yeah, probably. Chipmunks don't have wings. They do not. I've got my wings. Now I just have to jump from some high place and start flapping. Uh, that's not exactly how flying works. And what exactly makes you the expert on flying? I'm a bird. Fair point. What's going on here? N nothing Me and Gerald were just trying to figure out how to make me fly. I mean, nothing? Hmm. For your own safety, I'll be taking those wings of yours. Aw, oh, man. And Gerald, if she ever gets hurt on your watch... I'll be taking your wings, too. Oh, relax. He probably doesn't mean that. Probably. Lola, stop eating my food. How do you know it's your food? It literally has my name on it. Oh, sorry. It's all right. I've got some extra food in my spaceship. Spaceship? You have a spaceship? Where? It's in the backyard. I knew it! I knew you were an alien! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! Yep, there's no fooling you! You're just too clever! Hey, Wrinkles, I still can't find it! Is it invisible or something? Yep, invisible for sure! Of course! Alien technology! I should have known! I'll keep looking! Oh, I'm sure you're getting real close! Brutus! Would you care to hear a scary campfire story? Sure. Okay. Once upon a time, there were two people walking through the woods when all of a sudden, they saw a ghost. Uh, then what happened? The end. Oh. Did you like it? Pretty spooky, huh? Oh, yeah. Especially the one part about the ghost. Well, Lee, it sure is windy today. Idea. Sure is a windy day. Hi, Brutus! Hey, Pixie. Bye, Brutus! Bye, Pixie. Dang it. Parkour! Parkour! Parkour? Uh, that looks a bit too far, don't you think? Par- Whoa! <laughs> you good? Almost made it. Weren't even close. Darn. Gates closed. This looks like a job for my super ninja cat skills. 
<sighs> easy peasy lemon easy. Squeezy. Oh, easy peasy squeezy easy. That's not, never mind. Okay, so just do what I did, but be extra careful on the shovel. It's kind of slippery. Wow, we Super Ninja Dog Skills. Hey, Mr. Wrinkles, look, it's you. A piece of chewed gum. Very funny. Hey, Hugo, do you want to play a game? Oh, yes, me love game. All right, let's see how fast you can run a lap around the house. But you got to bring this with you. Oh, okay. Wait a second. Isn't that my... Go! Well played, Wrinkles. Thanks! Hey, Randall! Do you want to play dress-up? I'd honestly rather get run over by a dump truck. You're kidding. You would love to. It sounds fun. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I would love to. Sounds like fun. Yay! Wowie! What do you think? I look completely... You love it. You think you look amazing. I love it. I look amazing. Aw, yay! I will destroy anything that poses a threat to this innocent child. What the? Oh, of course. Of course I'm the stormtrooper in this thing. Why am I even surprised? Nah, I ain't doing this. I'm out. Hmm. Now all it needs is some light. Aw, oh, man. Fire breathing is hard. How about we just use electric candles? Fresh pumpkin? Don't mind if I do. <gasps> the, the, the pumpkin ain't Randall! Huh? Oh, yes. Come closer, little kitten. And I'll eat you, too. Dumb furball. Spit him out! What the? Spit him out right now! Randall, you're okay! Yeah, you, uh, you'd risk getting eaten by a pumpkin monster to save me? Well, yeah. Wow, uh, thanks, I guess. No problem. It's what friends do. Right, Brutus? Right. Yeah. How are you so big but so sneaky at the same time? Leave. Leaving. Hey, Loa. You want to race? Seriously? Okay, sure, if you say so. First one to the stop sign wins. Three, two... Wait, I gotta get ready first. Be right back. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Yeesh. Finally? What took you so long? Oh, nothing much. I just had to put on my running legs. Yeah, I'm going to have to take the loss on this one. Aw, come on. Just one race? Hey, Brutus, why is Tony always playing with those heavy thingies? He ain't playing. He's exercising. That's how you talk to ghosts? You're thinking exorcism. Exercise is when you lift heavy stuff to get bigger and stronger. That works? More or less, yeah. Hmm. Wow, all that exorcism is really paying off. Sure is. Wowee. No, Pixie, that's not how it works. What? I didn't even say anything. I have formed a crystal kiss. I will soon grow wings like a butterfly. You... You gotta know that's not how it works. Probably, but it's worth a try. That should be long enough. Huh. I'm stuck. Yep, I figured. Brutus, look what my eyes do when I shine light on them. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Very cool. Want to see something else cool they can do? Yeah! Sit on that shelf over there. Okay. What? Pretty cool, right? Very cool. 
A Hall Fruitcake? It's a Christmas Miracle! Aw, oh, come on, man. It's just gonna end up in a dump anyways. <sighs> Fine. I guess it's okay if you... Thanks! Bye! What is that fuzzy clump up there? Oh, it's a bat. Oh, maybe it's a vampire in disguise. Vampires ain't real, Pixie. But did you know bats are the only mammals on Earth that can fly? Really? Did you know that bats are nocturnal, as in we sleep during the day? Hint, hint. Right. We'll leave. You forgot about unicorns. They're mammals, and they can fly, too. Unicorns ain't exactly real, either. Besides, they actually can't fly. You're thinking of a pegasus or an alicorn. Why do I know this stuff? Seriously, guys! Go jabber somewhere else! I'm trying to catch some Zs here! Yeah, yeah, we're going. Don't get your wings in a twist, Count Dracula. Oh, real cute. That's a nasty stereotype, you know. Shame on you. I can feel you staring at it. What? Me? I'm not staring at anything. <sighs> I had an infected cut. They needed to shave the hair to treat the wound. Oh, that? I didn't even see it. It's barely even noticeable. You're trying too hard. You know what? It actually looks good on you. Just stop. I wish my head had a bald spot. Seriously, shut up. Yes, sir. Look, Mr. Wrinkles, another spaceship. Huh? Ugh, I keep telling you, Lola, those are not spaceships. They're commercial airliners. That one in particular appears to be a Boeing 747. First flown in 1969, it has a maximum capacity of... Oh boy, here we go. Nope. Not a 747. W what 747s have four jet engines. This is a twin jet. Only has two. No way. Ha! You were wrong about something. W well, you thought it was a spaceship. Yes, but I'm not the know-it-all smarty pants here. You are. Or at least, you were. Turns out you're just a big dummy like me. I'm seriously going to scratch you if you don't let this go. Aww. One, two, three, <laughs> 39, 40. All right, ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Brutus will never find me. I look just like a pile of leaves. It's the perfect camouflage. It's camouflage. What? You found me already? Well, leaves don't usually talk out loud to themselves about how much they look like leaves. Oh, right. Also, you didn't cover your butt. Darn it! All right, ready or not, here I come. Hee hee hee, me win for sure this time. You gotta be kidding me. Psst. Oh, found you. Let's just let you go win this time. He'll never learn if people take it easy on him. Oh, come on! He's got a huge disadvantage, literally. How can you expect him to win at hide and seek when he's twice the size of everyone else? Hmm. I suppose you got a point. And what about her? Oh, Lola? She has no excuse. She's just an idiot. Wow, Lee! What a shiny lamp! Holy moly! I am the all powerful genie. I shall grant three wishes to thou who has summoned me. I wish for 100 wishes. You can't wish for more wishes. I wish that I could. <sighs> Fair enough. I wish to be a dinosaur. Rawr! Do I really have to sit in this bucket? You mean magic lamp? Right. Yes, you are bound to the magic lamp for all of eternity. But don't worry. I'll use my hundredth wish to set you free. I wish you'd do it sooner. 23! 23 what? 23 times climbing up and down this rock pile. Oh, why? Training! I'm going to be the first cat to climb Everest Mountain. You know Mount Everest is pretty high, right? Of course! But nothing is impossible with hard work and a positive attitude. 
It's about 30,000 feet tall. Oh, uh, how many rock piles is that? Dunno. I guess around 10,000. Also, it's in Asia, like 8,000 miles away from here. Um, uh, how many backyards is that? You're an owl. Yeah? Give me some of your owly wisdom. Well, for starters, owly isn't a word. Cool. What else you got? Uh, the capital of Spain is Madrid. Well, that ain't wisdom. That's just knowledge. Indubitably. And it's not even correct. Nah, she's right. It's Madrid. Really? I thought it was Mexico. Eres un idiota. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Randall. Hey, are you a ghost or something? Do you float? Listen, it occurs to me that lately I've been unfairly hostile towards you. Oh, like last week when you threw me over the fence for littering? Yeah, uh, sorry about that. Or when you threatened to remove my jaw for chewing too loud? I don't remember that one. I do. Vividly. Well, point is, my job is to keep Pixie safe, but I guess sometimes I can be a tad over-aggressive. You haven't been troubled for some time now, so I ought to start treating you better. Well, well, look who's warming up to me. Looks like even Big Bad Brutus can't resist my natural charm. I was just playing! Start your engines! Vroom! This race car has a very quiet engine. Uh, it's electric. How about you do the sound effects? Skrrr! Whoosh! Yay! First place! Wowie, Brutus! You're really fast! It was like driving a real race car. <laughs> that was just a jog. Didn't want you getting hurt. Let's head inside now. I'm getting too old for this. Hands up, bad guy! I'm taking you to bad guy jail! You think I'm just gonna give up? Don't you know who I am? When I fell into a vat of toxic newspaper, I was transformed into the evil Dr. Paperface! And Dr. Paperface surrenders to no one! Well, in that case... Freeze Lair! Gah! My only weakness! Being frozen! Gotta admit, you're a lot better at this pretend stuff than I am. It's about committing to the role. I'm not pretending to be frozen in ice. I am frozen in ice. Brutus, come! Brutus? 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 Wait, why am I looking here? Brutus! Oh... I see. Morning, Brutus. I had a super cool dream last night. Yeah? What about? First, we went Scooby, uh, scuba diving, and then we discovered the lost city of Atlanta, er, Atlantis. Then, we explored a dragon lair full of treasure. Then we went to Ice Cream Land. Ice Cream Land? A land made of ice cream. Oh, of course. Then we rode on colorful balloons up into the clouds. Then we escaped a fleet of alien spaceships. Wow, that's one eventful dream. Yep. What do you dream about, Brutus? Meh. Same sort of stuff, more or less. Wow, Wee! I've never seen a real porcupine before. Hey, hey now, back off, cat! Listen, I know you porcupines have a bad reputation for spiking anyone that gets too close. That is a thoroughly accurate reputation. Well, I'm a firm believer in breaking stereotypes. So to show you that I trust you, I'ma give you a big ol' hug. I am literally promising that I'll spike you if you get any closer. Come here, buddy. Pixie. Aww. Does it... Does it hurt? Nope. Feels fantastic, actually. Thanks for asking. Are you sure it doesn't hurt? It looks like it hurts. 
does it now? Because it feels just terrific. I hope that porcupine comes around again so I can get a second round of face quills. I'm sorry. I just thought... You just thought what? That it was a good idea to try to hug an angry porcupine? Is that what you just thought? I... I don't know. <sighs> Listen, Pixie, you're not a kitten anymore, and I won't always be around to save you. You just... The world can be a nasty place, okay? If you're too soft, it'll squish you. And if you're too trusting, it'll stab you in the back. Or in the face. Oh, <laughs> I see what you did there. Okay, I'll try to be more careful. That's all I need to hear. So, just to be totally clear, you were being sarcastic about it not hurting, right? Yeah, it hurt a lot. A brand new dog bed, made specifically for large dogs, with your name very literally written on it, custom embroidered. And yet you choose to plop your hairy shedding butt on my bed. Oh sure, get mad at me for laying on your bed, but you don't care at all when Hugo sleeps on your cat tree thingy. <sighs> I still don't know how he gets up there. It defies the laws of physics. Hugo, time to wake up. Come on, big guy. <sighs> Hugo, wait! <sighs> Hugo, get up. Bro, can't, can't breathe. Light fading. Is this it? Will this be the last thing I see? No, I cannot. Go out like this. You're sorry, Hugo, but it's you or me. Bro? <gasps> Oh, hello, Mr. Rinko. What you doing here? Oh, nothing. Just cheating death. Can we have candy? Wow. Sure, but there's going to be a mommy tax. Wait, one, two, three. Uh, who's this? Um, she just kind of showed up. What? I just kind of showed up. I thought maybe that's how babies happen. Oh, thank goodness. That must be your mother. I am so sorry, ma'am. Brutus! Man? Sir? It's fine. She's got a knack for wandering off. I had candy! Let's do jumping jacks! Who's Jack? How do babies happen? Whoa! Cool scars! Are you a gangster? Did a zombie bite you? <laughs> well, getting late. Uh, time for bed. <laughs> it's only 1,500 hours. Kitty, 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 kitty. Let's get those teeth brushed. Nice to meet you, sir. Hey, Brutus. What would you do if someone got their, uh, hand stuck in a vacuum cleaner? Uh, I guess I'd try to pull it out. Okay, but what if you didn't want to pull Pull too hard, because it could yank out his feathers. What? This is a hypothetical question, right? Um... Pixie? Oh... How? Sorry, Gerald. I'm not very good at lying. 